The Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe. This is going to be the hardest review I've ever done. I'm going to try to be extremely vague in everything I'm talking about. I'm only going to show up to the first two doors, so it's going to be a lot of the same footage. I would just loop everything, but that would be a very boring video to look at. It's going to have some subtle changes, but it won't go past the first choice you have. There will be no real spoilers in this video. Sure, you'll see changes, but it really doesn't affect the game. And you'll also see changes in the thing the narrator says. But it's as close as I could get to a spoiler-free video. I actually thought about making this review 20 seconds long, basically saying, don't don't watch it, just play it when it's on sale. I say sale because it's not worth $24.99. It's fairly short if you don't want to keep replaying it. So like I said, just wait for it to go on sale. So if you're waiting for the verdict, there it is. For everybody else, now this is a remake of a remake. It was originally a mod for Half-Life 2, then a standalone title. I only played it when it was on the PC back in 2013. Now they made the expansion and a remake of the original game. And it's added quite a lot. I think they've doubled the content. Now I thought this title was extremely clever. I've been looking for these types of games ever since. The closest that I've found is one that's called There Is No Game, which was on my top 10 list of the best games I reviewed last year. Unlike that game, there really isn't any gameplay in this. This is just a walking simulator. Unlike other walking simulators like Firewatch or Gone Home, which I reviewed before as well, this one gives you actual choices of what you could do. The narrator will tell you the story of the character, and you can listen to him or go against his wishes. And then it resets and goes back to the beginning. However, it often remembers your past choices, and that might affect the story going on. That's about as much as a spoiler you're going to get in this. The different choices that you make will have the narrator change the way the story progresses, and the way it ends. There are many endings in this. There is actually a true ending, as well as an epilogue, which I found a bit underwhelming. But that's okay, I wasn't really expecting it, so I'm glad it actually got an ending. The narrator was very funny, and it extremely sarcastic at times. He would react to you challenging him in the most amusing ways. Now you can't just play the game normally and do what he says. But the real fun of the title is to try a little bit of both. Find your own ending. The game actually rewards you in trying to break it. And I actively tried to do so. There were times where I was sure I wasn't supposed to be somewhere, only to have the narrator start talking about my situation. I did finally break the game and I got to a part where I was stuck and I had to reset. I knew I was in a place I wasn't supposed to be when I could clip through objects. It felt like a tiny victory. The loading times for the most part were fine. One of the endings was actually kind of annoying. It had you go through quite a few loading zones to finish it. And you'd do that twice if you wanted both endings. There were achievements to get. I won't show them because they would just be a spoiler. But let me say one of them is very easy to get. But to get it, it'll take you quite a while. The Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe is a perfect console remake of the original title that came out on the PC. And I know this is also on the PC as well. But really, this was made for the consoles. Depending on your choices, you're never going to know where the story is going. And every playthrough is going to be different different and you're going to be laughing through most of them. Now they're asking $24.99 for this and I think you should wait for this to go on sale. If you like a narrative walking simulator then you're going to enjoy your time with this. It will keep you entertained for a few hours if you keep replaying it but I would still wait for it to go on sale.